What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com where I've got a whole bunch of good people out there that are on the forums and they're sharing links and they're they're picking up the slack for what I haven't been able to. And that's really what I was hoping when I built the website and when I built the uh, – when the groups kind of formed together and we joined the United Family of Anomaly Hunters. I was kind of hoping that, you know, I could – focus some more on some of the other projects that I wanted to work on. Uh, mostly a lot of Mars space. There are a couple that aren't, um, but they've really picked it up over there. I can name names, but I don't want to leave anybody out and, and, you know, make them feel like I, I'm not as appreciative. A lot of good stuff on the website. That's basically what I'm saying. Thank them for, for keeping it up while I'm just been so busy. Now, this picture right here is going to be a really quick video. It's not a long one for you guys who like the long ones. I was basically browsing through some of them and I got this uh, this came from 1160 saw 1160 and I don't do much explaining about things because I automatically assume people know things well saw 1160 so that means that's the 1160th day that we were on Mars um, here we've got a strange piece this now I'm not I can't give you the scale here it's not huge because we're right this is a mass cam shot the mass cam sits on top of the rover it's the one that can kind of you know it takes takes double pictures it's got two different lenses on it so it picks which one it wants and it uses it um, I guess that's what they they set it up to take those pictures you don't get too many 3d images from that one as you can make from the other ones but this is pretty cool um, they like said I think and I used to do this a long time. When I first started my videos, I've come a long way if you've watched my videos. I don't even think I sound different. It's amazing. Over 600 videos, you can almost watch my life go up and down. And my uh, I, I put my – I invite you to the house. I kind of it, – it's different here, I think, than you get at the other Mars channels. That's just how I feel about it. I try to be as personal, invite you into the house, say, my buddy Will, you guys, you guys are my buddies. Um, even if you, even you wallflowers that don't even say anything, I know you guys are watching because of the hits that we get. And uh, basically, when I first started this, I was saying – millions of years ago that the civilization lived there well as i've progressed i don't think that any longer there's a lot of guys that do um and we can all have our own ideas that's how i mean right now we're just exploring images that we think are from the planet mars and i say we think that because i'm 99 percent sure the rover's there and not here on earth and these are all legitimate but that's probably giving them too much credit to be even that sure um just because of the fact that governments lie, agencies lie, corporations lie, and people lie. So, but given that, I think there's a lot of little symmetry in here. There's uh, geometry, the stuff I look for when I he see intelligent design. So at first I would say millions of years. I'm starting to think now we're talking thousands. Um, definitely a lot sooner. That, uh, w the devastation that took place. You know, I'm not sure how long the civilization would have been on Mars, but I think it's that. And I also think that they're about a third of our size. And that's just pure speculation from what I've seen from the newer rovers, from the older rovers. Um, th that's just, you know, how I feel about it. But, okay, so let's get into this image right here. Um, here you can get it directly from NASA. Here's how it looks. I've given four views here. Um, let me just go ahead and I'll, I'll walk right up them. Here's that. Which the, all that has has been auto-colored. Here's a black and white version of it. And here is a color version where I pulled a little a little bit more out of it. Um, I think I lost a little bit of the, the resolution some here. But there's some interesting stuff up here. There's a, a piece up here that has almost like a tusk type piece that comes up and has a, a, a very, I mean, you can see that there's a shadow under it along with it. Up here, there's some interesting pieces that just look, you know, Whatever the mud and the muck and whatever destroyed Mars, especially in the Gale Crater, I was thinking that the Gale Crater had was a lake or something at some point. Most likely had streams coming down from the mountain where we see that what looks like a civilization up there. It looks like a fort on a mountain. Um, and it's the perfect place for one. If you look at the, the surrounding um, terrain, it would have been a great place for somebody to set up a little fort. Now, okay, now here is the image itself from NASA so you can see that really all I've done was downloaded it put it into the thing you don't have to sit here and put this, you want to see this hit the description and the link's going to be right there as well as the link to the website that has the article where I actually break out 
um, I put this version of it so you can download this version itself, the enhanced. But I also go as far as to um, c cut these out, make them big, so you can really see them and actually take a look at them in the enhanced version. So let's take a look at this little notched piece here. We've got some interesting, uh, you know, it, it, what do I can even call it? It's inlays and things on, on a lot of stuff around here. But check this out. It's almost like a knob or something on the top or something that would be tied to. I expect to see this on something like near boats here on Earth. I can think of a tie down where you've got like a, a, a relief piece that it sits on. And then it's got a little knob on the top of it or a little, little sphere. Uh, pure speculation. As you see it. Most of what I do here is pure speculation. On the front of the video, I say, I see what I see, you see what you see. There's another feature up here that's kind of similar to it right here, um, right by this piece that comes up. And I might be wrong that that goes, you know, I am wrong about that. This piece right here, it, the shadow's coming from, it's more like a wall right there. Um, there's a piece over here that kind of looks like that as well, too. And we might not be looking at much, but you see how we've got the here. Let me go back to the version that I had down here. And let me sharpen it up one notch. I hadn't sharpened it. When you get in, it's it's definitely much easier to... Sh I'm just going to smart sharpen it. Hit OK. I've already got all my parameters in there. I've done it a thousand times. And that'll bring it out just a little bit more. So that's that's enhanced. I definitely have enhanced that. Um, it's not as smooth as the one down there on that other rock, but I, I thought it was something to take a look at for you guys. And I've got a stack of things on the uh, on the videos to do. This won't be a long one. So I'm only going to go a little bit longer here because there's not that much to look at on this picture um, because we've got some really good images to bring out as well. I wanted to get some of these off the to-do list just because they were cool. I thought that, you know, this is when I saw the the days, like I said, this all from 1160. They're getting a little bit longer. You know, now we're up to the next video is going to be 1181 from that day. And, boys, there's some great stuff on it. So here we go. Check these out here. When I see some symmetry here, I see a, a sphere or a ball, a sphere and a ball here. And this seems to go around it just as uh, – Looks like this side is worn down a little bit more, but it seems to be matching. Like this piece was somewhere else, uh, along with maybe even this up here, and it's buried in the Martian regolith. And during whatever, just, you know, destruction occurred, and it could have been major destruction, could have been different destruction two, two, three, four times over. Who knows how long civilizations lasted up there? We're still learning that on our planet. I, you know, We don't know everything about our own planet. I mean, look out what's happening in Gobekli Tempe right now, where they're, they're finding these sonar images of even more and more and more of the stone circles with these animals that look nothing like the ones we have had here on Earth that we have seen. Now, this your eyes automatically to me see a face here don't let that happen i think that's just the uh the magic word parador what is it paradoia is a, i think is how they say it i've said it a, a million times but uh you know basically matrixing your eyes see it 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 does look like a face and that's why i stay away from faces because we're trained as hunter this is this was what we've been told that uh, over time your eyes are trained to see faces and things and as a predator you know, just because we were you know, predators at some time, you know, we uh, have to, had to be able to see things coming at us and, and, and to make things. But if you go look at the clouds, you can see the same things happen. But when you get a whole, you get more than one thing on one image that has the geometry and things like that. That's when you really start to say, oh, well, there's something weird about that one. Um, OK, but down here, let's check this out. There's there one more hope. I think there's maybe one or two more things here that I wanted to show you. Now this kind of this is what was kind of cool. It kind of has the center. Yeah. You know, what what can I even call that? Just kind of like a little rift that comes up. It just could be just from the standard boulder. So here I thought it was cool too. It seems like it's uh it was it looks like this was part of a statue or something at some time. Much more than like this one next to it that has a whole different color. And uh, up here looks to be more um, crystallized, like you've got a, we've got crystal rocks and stuff like that here, quartz uh, mixed in with just you know stone. This more looks more like something like basalt sandstone. Look at the actual. Uh, see how you've got 
what could be carvings not just here but it releases down and Matt follows the second line and it comes up around here follows this line that comes here follows another one and and they step off that's what makes me think that this was something intelligently designed and over here you've got the same thing it comes up and around comes down here's where you've got a piece to it and let's spin it around right here if you look at it this way and it's got some interesting uh and this could could be from the the water running over it or you know anything like that but it seems to have you know little pieces and things you know carved into it or it was part of something at some time Next to it here, you've also got another piece next to our knob guy that has the most similar type of feature. See it here? In between here and here, there's a gap. There's actually a sphere here and a sphere there, if you can see that. Um, and once again, down there. So was this statue right here or something along the lines? Uh, was that part of something? Stat I say statue, but you know that's... Um, some people always say, well, there's rocks everywhere there. Just, you know, how? why do you guys think there's statues everywhere? Well, because there's statues everywhere on our planet. There's the, even people in their yards have them. Um, if you were to come to my house, you know, I'd think if I, if I was, there was a cataclysm and I wasn't here, this place would dilapidate in a matter of 100 years. And what would be left would be my stones and uh, the, some sculptures I've got outside that would, you know, be starting to cover it up with whatever, depending on how... You know, that's what would waste away. The wood, the stuff like that would be gone. It, it wouldn't take too long. Maybe a thousand years, two thousand years. The stuff would, it, it just rots. Um, here, you, I think you're looking at stuff that's, you know, much older. Um, or not much older, like I said. Much more, at least, uh, you don't see the wood anymore. Unless you're in, I have seen some stuff that looks like petrified wood. But you're looking at what's left of, you know, buildings and things like that and who knows how far away this stuff was when it actually got destroyed so we, okay let me wrap this up here since this wasn't a, you know one of the really really cool pictures i've got to get out to you it's just been a while and i owed everybody apology for the let you know it's been hard to get videos out and like i said we've got some good stuff coming up in the future here for what's up in the sky i think uh just in just in general, getting more information out. Uh, sadly, we're going to have to do more, start doing some more debunking videos where we really go and look at what's not, um, what's not true. Like, so the way I frame this out, this could be nothing but rocks. And I let you guys know that when you come to my channel. You should know that, especially if you've been watching my videos. So the only other thing up here was this right here. Um, but just wanted to say there's projects on the horizon, lots of pictures to do. My video that ha or my my video to do folder honestly has probably 35 images in it. We're gonna be focusing here soon on some other planets, not just Mars. Mars is uh, I love Mars, but I'm kind of getting bored of it. Even though we're getting to a point where there are some really interesting pieces, so we're not I am that bored of it. But you know what I mean. I've been making this is like 332 of my Mars videos. There's a lot more anomalous stuff out there. One being Venus. Um, Cirrus, Pluto, all over the place. There's interesting stuff. Mercury, um, and I've just kind of let that stuff slide to the background. I've got one really good video that I'm trying to uh, get out here soon. It's going to have um, really show all of the sols that we have found water actually flowing on Mars. Uh, just like they say the big flows were, we have seen it many times where they have just passed it by and not sampled so or if they have sampled they've done it in private and haven't done it and showed us the uh, actual images so all right guys i'm going to stop talking it was good to see you i always invite you into the house like i said i think we do a little bit differently here at what's up in the sky and i think that's why you guys come back so thank you guys so much for the subscribers i love you guys so much each and every one of you who share the videos who talk about the videos who send me links to pictures i mean you guys are just great if it wasn't for you i would have quit this a long time ago i never would have reached 600 videos we're about to go over 8 million people who have seen these videos or have seen some of them you know some, some people see two seconds and say rocks click you know but it is what it is much love take it easy have yourselves a good one Peace.